There. That's it. That's him. What's up, boys and girls? Here I am in all my glory. Benvenue. Buenos tardes. Good morning. Today we'll talk about... Oh, oh, oh. Let me forget. Let me stop before I forget, because you know I forget for him. As always, Mr. Warmack is presently and will be in the building. What's going on? Now, we'll talk about today, we'll talk about a topic that we don't talk about a lot, which should be talked about. I'm going to show the GOP how you can attract minorities to vote for you. Now, I'm going to show you, now, I don't mean the, the, I don't mean the rich minorities. I don't mean the rich blacks and Latinos. I don't mean the guys that are in the NFL, NBA, and doing a little rapping thing, hit the lottery, you know, business owners and that. I'm gonna tell y'all how to get them slack jaw yokels to vote for you, you know. If they wear yakky hair, I'm gonna show you how to get them to care. You know, if they got if they got a taco stand, I'm gonna show you why you think you should be the man. You know, I'm gonna tell the I'm gonna show the GOP how to actually give a shit about these people who you don't show up for. You know, the GOP needs more credible black candidates, obviously. I mean, Herman Cain was cool, but then he fucked it up with that 999 promotion. I mean, that's what everybody made fun of. The 99, the 9, or did he had the 666 program or some shit like that? You want to go to a black church with that? Come on. You know, they could, they, they need, they need like a, with the, with what GOP did and like, like they should follow the lead of the NRA. The NRA, like, which I'm a proud member of. Thank you. But the NRA, about gun ban, the track one noise, they had a black guy on here did videos for them, and it's working, their campaign's successful. But uh, the GOP didn't need more credible people. They, they just don't need, like, people, you know, to step and fetch. I mean, that's that's the Democrats, and that's a lot of these people on YouTube anyway. They're, they'll do the old buck shuffle and chicken and watermelon dance for, for a fucking, you know, for a coupon to fucking Disney World, or for, like, a coupon for $10 off of Kool-Aid or something. You don't need that. You need credible people. You need people that, like, are their own self-made person. Preferably, not somebody who was helped out, because that's the like that's a liberal thing again. You want your self-made man or woman, and you want to put them in the spotlight. You want to show them, hey, they can do it, and they came from the same background you came from. Why can't you do it? And you can't preach to people. Yeah, we all know that, but I'm telling you how to get minorities. This ain't the average. I mean, even even the white like, folks in the trailer park are like this nowadays. You know, they think it's cool now. But conservatives who need to hold the same news, they, 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 this, the problem was, you're like, look at Fox. Fox has turned into race, well, besides MSNBC, but I'm not talking about the liberals because they got the game plan down pat. Fox has turned into the GOP, how do I want to put it, the GOP message into race baiting. And you don't want to do that. If you want to attract more men, minority, you need to, like, I don't, I don't tell you to preach tolerance, just preach the truth. You know, talk about how blacks and black GOP members, you know, they, 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 they're not sellouts. They're real people. Like I said, Herman Cain's a self-made man. I respect him for that. You know, but a lot of the problem is, you got to convince a lot of these black folks that they got to get over these entitlement programs that are sponsored by liberals. Now, how are you going to do that? A lot of these programs that, I don't admit it, they're not benefiting me. They, I admit the programs are beneficial if you use them correctly, like welfare. There's programs in welfare where you can have money to go to school. There's programs in welfare where you can go, like, start purchase a car and they'll give you some money. There's programs in welfare where you can go to school and they'll pay for babysitting. Now, do a majority of people on welfare use this? Obviously not, because they're still on the rolls. You need to tout stuff like that. like. Say somebody was on welfare and they, they, they laced up their bootstraps and pulled their pants up and they used all the programs and they became a success. That's what you want to talk about. You don't want to talk about some 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 buck shuckling brother playing a banjo. Not talking about, all I want to do is bang the drums all day. You know, you need to talk, but you need to talk with some conviction, with sincerity. You need to go in these black churches where these liberals are gone. The liberals have quit. Have, the liberals have quit giving all these hour-long speeches. The liberals will give a ten-minute speech, give you something, and roll. 
you need to go to these neighborhoods. You need to say, hey, look, you're here. Give us a sincere, truthful message. You don't need fucking Rand Paul giving on fucking speeches at Howard University talking down to folks. The problem is you're uncomfortable when you don't go in these neighborhoods. You, well, you've never been in these neighborhoods, maybe as a Republican early on, but now, like I said, it's like it's like it's like when my dudes playing in NFL, man. They they reach the NFL. You don't see them no more back in certain spots. Well, I understand I can't go in certain spots, but I digress. But the GOP, what they need to do, you need to you need to have a clear, concise message. You need to get some you need to get some folks of color as pitchmen, folks that are like that you can people can respect, people that have like I said, picked themselves up by the bootstraps. That's the only way you're gonna get people in there. Because other than that, it's going to be the same thing. Outside of Obama doing something really stupid, the Democrats are going to have a nice, easy way on 2016. So, I'm out of here. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.